What's up, Piper Drivers? Today in the house, I have Hot Toys Echo from the Bad Batch in the house. And you know, it's been a while since I've done a Hot Toys unboxing, so let's give this one the full treatment. In this video, I will give you a brief history of Echo in case you don't know who the character is. We'll unbox this thing under a light box so you can see all of the pieces and the figure in nice clarity, 4K detail. And then finally, I'll give you guys some poses so you can get an idea of what this character can look like if you had it in your collection. And ultimately, you can make your own decision if you wanna go ahead and pick this one up. So with all that out of the way, let's get to this. Welcome everyone to the channel. I'm very excited to have another clone trooper to add to my collection. This is Echo from the Bad Batch TV series from Hot Toys. I picked this one up over at Comic Concepts and Josh got it out to me very fast, so thanks a lot my buddy. And if you guys wanna check them out, I left a link in the description below for you guys to get to it. If you guys like the Hot Toys unboxings, I do have a lot of these coming out here very soon. So please subscribe, turn on notifications, so you can jump to light speed every week with us right here on the Hyperdrive. So Echo is one of my favorite clone troopers from the Clone Wars animated series, and here's why. So if you've never watched the Clone Wars, then you're missing out on a lot of great stories during one of the most epic times in Star Wars history, I feel. Echo is really special in that here we got to really see the evolution of a clone trooper from his days as a cadet where he was a member of Domino Squad. He would eventually graduate and defend Rishi Station from a separatist attack where he would experience his first loss when his teammate Heavy sacrificed himself during the battle. He would eventually become a member of the 501st, achieving the rank of Advanced Recon Commando or ARC Trooper along with his teammate Fives. As an ARC Trooper, he joined a small task force including Fives, Captain Rex, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Anakin Skywalker, Ahsoka Tano, and at the time, Captain Tarkin to rescue the captured Jedi Master, Evan Piel. During their escape, Echo sacrificed himself trying to stop a droid commando from firing on the escape ship. He was unsuccessful and was caught in the explosion. Echo was believed to be dead, but he was actually captured by the Separatists. He was then tortured and turned into a machine to extract battle knowledge to use against the Republic. On an axis, Captain Rex recognized the battle strategies the Separatists were using, and with the help of Clone Force 99, also known as the Bad Batch, they discovered that Echo was alive. With the help of Anakin Skywalker and the Bad Batch, Captain Rex was able to save Echo. With Echo's new Separatist capabilities now, though, he was able to help feed false information back to the Separatists, allowing Skywalker to kill Admiral Trench and turn the tide on Anaxis. After that, Echo was known as the hero of Anaxis. He then joined Clone Force 99, becoming the fifth member of the Bad Batch. Pretty awesome story, right? I freaking love this character. If you want to see more dedicated videos about character biographies on this one or any other Star Wars character, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see about creating some videos like that. All right, so now that we got that all out of the way, let's get this to the light box and see what's inside. All right, so here's the front cover of the box. You got Echo there in a dynamic pose with his pistol out. You got the helmet on. On the lower right, you see him with the mask off. We spin around to the back, and what you see is the credits. You guys can pause that if you want to take a look at the credits. We spin around to the side, and what we see is Echo there with that hammer arm or that press arm that he has. That's pretty dope. When you take the box off, you get this cover art. You see Echo there holding his helmet, mask off, and then Hunter in the left there, which I'm hoping is the next figure to come out. I have that one on order as well. All right, and here is everything that it comes with. Lots of accessories to make it your own. Let's take a look at some of them. First up, we have the display stand. It has an Imperial style base with a plaque at the front that says Echo. We can just focus here. Um, it's a nice base, you know, something that we normally see the Imperial style is you know, common. One thing I was very disappointed about is that it had crotch grabbers. I was really hoping for a waist grabber, but that's what it is. Next up, we have the Bad Batch sticker that can cover the top of the base, and it's got Echo's helmet in the left there, which is really neat. Next, we got the unmasked portrait of Echo, which looks very, very good. So this is a realistic take on it, obviously. It's not the animated appearance, but I like the weathering that they have on the back of the helmet there, which is really nice. The colors are good. I like that the eyes have a nice gloss to it. it makes it look like it's almost glass and the pores on the skin, the detail, everything about this looks really, really nice. All right, so next we have these two rods and both of these go into the back of the book bag. Now, normally I'd be very worried about this kind of stuff. It's because usually it's a, it's a delicate item, a point of breakage, but these are actually metal, which I thought is a very nice option for this. Uh, so that was a very good decision in my opinion. So Echo is kind of like Inspector Gadget, and this is a rod for his Gogo -Go Gadget arm. So you can put that in if you want to. You also get this more flexible rod, and this is for this grappling hook that he has. All right, and that brings us to the book bag. 
and I'm very impressed with this. It's a hard plastic, but love the details, all of the weathering and scratches. Look at those yellow lines and how it looks like it's just wearing off. I think it looks very, very nice. It carries all the way around, so you can see there's more scratches on the sides and everything. It's got a magnet with a felt to protect it when you go to connect it to your figure. And at the very top there is where you connect those rods that I told you about. And it's just a really nice accessory. And here's the grappling hook that I told you about. So again, just like with the book bag, this is a plastic piece. It connects to the right arm, so you could swap it out for the other arm that he has. So he's kind of like a Swiss Army knife in that sense. Lots of nice detail. The very front of it here actually has articulating arms, and that circle there actually opens up to reveal kind of like a grappling hook. And that brings us to this cybernetic arm. Now this arm kind of reminds me of Anakin's arm in a way, just by a bronze color with the gold accents and everything. Uh, you got some really nice details like those gold parts. The fingers uh, do not articulate, but they have like a rubber feeling to them. Or, uh, so they, they do flex a little bit. The wrist also does move and allows for another swap out hand that I'll show you in a minute. Uh, but again, very, very nice look to the whole uh, effect here. It connects to the right arm, just like the other piece that I showed you. And you can see details on the inside of the hand. So very awesome accessory. Next is this hammer arm or press arm. Uh, the front head actually pulls out. Uh, so it acts kind of like a press sort of uh, just another swap out arm that you could have but nice details just like with everything else lots of weathering and everything so all right and that brings us to this other cybernetic arm which looks very similar to the other arm that actually comes with the hand except that this one has these protruding fingers that from that come out of the forearm now those parts are a hard plastic and they do not articulate they brings them that makes them kind of a, a point of breakage so you want to be careful when using this one all right, and then next we get the standard issue DC-15 pistol. Nothing special about this. It's basically the same one that you get with every clone trooper. And then lastly, you get some swap out hands. So here is the swap out hand for the droid one that I told you about that, makes, that gives you the option for using a trigger. There's the optional pointing finger, another common one that we get with a lot of clones. And then there's the left arm trigger hand so that you can put the pistol in that side as well. All right, here's Echo all by himself. Now, I got these figures just because I, I love the colors of the Bad Batch. I like that dark gray with the red and the black. It looks really awesome. But let's take a look at it close up. All right, and here he is close up. I love this helmet. So you have your normal articulation in the neck area. You can go back and forward, side to side. You can twist all the way around. Really nice details, like I said before. And it really didn't spare any expense with the look of this thing. It's great. So the arms can extend about that far on both the left and the right. The right side has the cybernetic arm, like I said, that can swap out. You have some articulation there at the elbow, so you can go about 90 degrees and then you can twist. On the left hand, you have a double joint at the elbow, so you can go a little further back with that one. And then at the wrist, you have your normal play. The area here of the waist is, you know, with most clones, very stiff. Uh, so you don't have a whole lot of play. You have very little movement in that area, and that's about it. The comma is made of a soft material. There's no wires, so there's not any posability to that. Now, the lower legs, there's it, it's kind of stiff at the lower legs. You have a double joint at the knee, which is cool, and that kneecap area can actually turn. The You get a little bit of twist action, but not a whole lot. Uh, you have some ankle movement, and you can pivot side to side like that. So let's see what this guy can do and put him in some poses.
that's it guys. I think this is a great addition to the Clone Wars collection. Let me know what you like or dislike about this one in the comments below. And until next time, may the force be with you.